Tarzan to what? Tarzan to what? Tarzan to wow. I want to, first of all, man, all praise to Wah. It ain't been easy for Nagas, man. <sighs> Managing, you know, the, the health, the safety of loved ones, man, the, the security of your house, of yourselves, man. I mean, it's a lot, man. So first of all, allow wild praise our creator, our existence that, you know I mean? We're allowed to pop off. This is a gift. This is a present and we got to be present. We got to focus our eyes, focus our minds, focus our bodies. <laughs> got to be present. So Tarzan to wild, love to the ox that cool, what it do? Tarzan to wild, right? Okay, so <laughs> ain't no North America on this map either, boss. First of all, you know, I don't see no North America up here. I see California, I see California, <laughs> Virginia, I see Virginia, and then I see Peru, I see America. It seems like back in the day, South America, what that we call South America, was called America. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's connected to, hey, uh, India Superior, uh, you can call it uh, <laughs> China, Bob's Cathay. And then you go down. And it's so much more land beyond the pole. I'm just going to be quiet and uh, let you absorb this map and then we're going to have some fun, get into a live map of some boats, some ships, some cargo, man. Uh, and somebody on IG was dropping this. I forgot his name, man, but love to you. <laughs> Let's surf on it, man. Um, I just want to look at it for myself. We're going to get back on this Moroni, <laughs> more mind drop, man. Tara Zangta, wow. Tara Zangta means holy land, boss. So, what are they calling holy land in some place called Antarctica? That's supposed to be some little speck, <laughs> North Pole thing. And now we see, nah, it's a lot more holy land. So, you know, hey. Let the flutes do what they do, and then we're going to take a nice little live map session, look at some boats, a live map of cargo boats, and interesting uh, <laughs> destinations they got, man, let's go. Take it all in, my naga. Take it all in. You surfing away. Hey, we still on the war path, ball. Price still going up, ball. Eat the squad up. Look out for us, man. We coming in hot. You know, <laughs> had to extend the hiatus just to deal with some personal family, you know what I'm saying, situations. So, you know, hey, hop. Uh, just had to step back, man. But I'm stepping forward. And hey, hop for your patience because you know the wave is real, the water's real. The water for all y'all support checking in on a knock in. We good, you know, man. All praise of why we are to why. And it's all happening, man. Press the 122 coming in high. <laughs> Just thought I'd hit y'all with some interesting map drop. You know what I mean? And uh, look out for us, man. Soul Bone Podcast, man. Price is going up. Battle up. We in battle time. So you see there's a whole, a lot, a lot, a lot of land. A whole lot, a lot of land. And this land that they call Antarctica has a waterway, right? Has waterways to go through it, like gateways, like portals to get through it to the other side, right? You see it keeps going. You see it keeps going.
I mean, what land are they calling Virginia here? <laughs> Virginia. Uh huh. Virgin land, man. <laughs> what? Phoenicia, boss? Moronia? It really is a uh, mind blast. So whatever land you think you got in Asia and Africa and America and all that. Yeah. Come on, boss. Come on, boss. Come on, boss. <laughs> you see how it's all connected. You see how close South America is to this other land that they're calling Terra Fuego, which means hot lands. Where do you think these dragons went, man? <laughs> Where do you think your dragons went? Had to lay low in the hot lands. Had to lay low in lands we got to pull. All right, so keep this map in mind. Let's get some uh, live map footage. And again, you got virgin land up here, right? <laughs> you got Virginia virgin land and so-called North America. And you got a whole lot of virgin land in the holy land, right? Bang. Because Tarzanta means holy land. And to get to Tarzanta, you got to be messing with America. You got to come over to America, <laughs> get down on this holy land, and impress the 122. We're going to get back on the Swan Knights and the beautiful Amazon Queens and how they were holding down, you know, the kingdoms in Antarctica and holy land in Tarzanta, which used to be fruitful. Hot Terra Fuego. Come. Right. It says, my, my, hey, hey, I say, say cool. It says Holy Land. It says Tara Zanta, right? Now they'll call it Santa. They'll take out the C, right? Santa, like Santa Claus in the North Pole, boss. <laughs> Where's North, man? <laughs> left? Ain't this to the left? Don't North mean left? Oh, we, hold, hold up, man. We got to put this together, man. <laughs> before I get mappy, before I get real mappy, start talking about these shit, man, before I even do this, I just got to get this uh, etymology. We got to establish a couple things so we can pop off. Say it with me, boss. Etymologies. Okay. Dragon. Do you see clearly, boss? I have seen. You got the dragonfly <laughs> perspective. Which way is north? It might ultimately be left. Whoa, or below, boss. Hey, boss. <laughs> My night is with me. Body bag for the illusion. I told y'all the price going up just because we got some beautiful, soulful Japanese flutes playing. You better remember what Japan is. You better remember what Kapangu is, where China is, where Cathay is, where left is i mean <laughs> below boss i'm just talking north they're talking about santa claus in the north pole which might be left or below they're talking hell yeah just like the uh kapangu map the uh uh man the uh, cathay map talking about these savages in hell they're talking about antarctica and how they got these savages and, and they're in hell <laughs> they're trying to demonize real nuggets right they're trying to demonize us call us savages demons when they the one over here stealing land and killing people and straight up out of cult hell hell to the nah man hell to the nah didn't they say that uh, K 
Cathay. Uh, let's say China. Kapongo. One thing we got, Monaga, is receipts in Drop Nation. If I'm, if I'm saying, remember how they call the tar Antarctic and savages, demons and devils like they in hell? And now we realize that north means hell. And that when they talk about Santa Claus, they talk in Tara Zanta in the Holy Land. But they want to call it hell, north, below, north pole, below. They want to hijack Santa with a weak-ass Santa Claus coming down the chimney. Nah, that's the real demon devil, my nigga. What they getting it from? The Santa is holy. Ooh, we, because this is the map to America, boss. This is a map of America and the way to China, as men believed it to be, which an old pilot showed to King Henry the Seventh in the year 15. Hano, hey, call me Hano. Coming right in with press 122, my nugget. Look at Tuck. Look at Tarzan. Look at Antarctica. Where where be salvages? Men worship devils. Look how they depicting Antarctica like some hot ass place, like Terra Fuego. It don't look like no frozen continent no more, man. It don't look like no frozen situation. It's fiery. It's hell. To the hijack. This is the hijack. This is King Henry and them's depiction. Call it you savages. We demons. We devils. So that it can justify them taking our land. Taking our things. Taking our stuff. Because we demon worshiping savages. Really boss? Damn. They say Nagas worship devils. huh? It looks like they trying to put us in hell. Right? In Naraka. <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh, cut it out. We just talking about going deeper. Now, maybe there's something about going deeper that feels like hell to the hijack. Because when a knocker goes deeper and wakes up, that's the worst case scenario for the hijack. That puts the hijack in hell because you're no longer the tail. Now you the head. <laughs> now they got it back back. That puts the hijack in hell because the hijack don't want to be the tail. But we got to dig deeper. Greek, naretos, Sanskrit, narka. Deeper, lower, like Sheol. <laughs> or we're just talking lower on the map. Oh, yeah. Down. Beneath. We're just talking north. How do we get beneath by talking north? How do we get left by talking north? How do we get below? What do you mean left? What do you mean beneath? Tara, Zanta, wow. Because it appears if I'm in Antarctica, it's supposed to be frozen lands, but they're talking devil worshiping savages are living here. <laughs> and I go to Tara, Zanta, which means holy land. But your holy land is hell to them. And their holiday, ho holy land, is hell to us. Don't you see? It's backwards. It's flip. It's flip flop. Either they're in hell or we're in hell. But if we keep the code, we can't be in hell. Because for us to be the hell means being hell means you don't see clearly. You don't have your dragon anymore. You don't have your frequency. Your kundalini is your kundalini. One letter rule or his butter got to drop. Kundalini is kundalini. They're talking about the serpent rising. Kum means to rise in Hebrew. The dragon has to rise. Cool. 
El Hawakon is what they call me. Hey, we have to call. Daniel El Kumisi. Kum is like, come, like, come here, but right, raise up. Come here, get up. Up, man, rise. Kum. Phoenicia. I said, Phoenicia. All right. Kum, I know. So apparently, there's a lot going on at this peak that they call Terra Fuego. At this point, we're South America, it's, it's Patagonia situation. Love the Chef Canny, man. Uh, you know, Chef Canny loves Antarctica, so she always has some Antarctica drop to share with the tribe, and I look forward to getting that for the dismount. Chef Canny got the drop, man. So, Patagonia. Yeah, you, you ever hear, the, hear about the Patagonian fish, man? <laughs> People like the Patagonian fish, what they call that sea bass, but it's really Patagonia. There's a lot of fish, man. We're going to look at some fishing boats popping around Antarctica. And we're going to see some boats in the live map that's actually popping up in this these little areas down here. Which would seem crazy in modern, you know, science or whatever they're teaching us. But when we see the maps, it makes sense that we're going to find some stray boats, some stray cargo ships. <laughs> In these other lands beyond the poles. North means below or left. Okay. And holy land is located where? To the left. Below. I'm trying to tell you. Your holy land is hell to them. Hawa. Is an op to these. To your ops. Hawa is the op. Right. To us. Their hijack they worship is the op, right? So you see how this goes. Your holy land is not where they go. To them, it's where demon devil worshipers go. Because the devil demon is the adversary. And the adversary is who? Anybody that gets in their way. So to them, you are the adversary. You are the demon devil Satan. Hawaii would be that to them. Leviathan would be that to them. But how did North get left? Below and beneath. Devil demon worshiper. What does that mean? What is the devil? Satan? Great adversary. Where are you getting this from? Satan is coming from where? Satanos in Greek. Hebrew Satan. Adversary. Should I bring back up the Papal Bull Dumb Dot Verses 1452 to talk adversary? Should I show you these more ish treaties, pieces of friendship on the head bone of Tacumse to talk adversary? Who's your adversary, boss? Should we talk slavery and slave trade and civil rights? Black Panther Party? <laughs> Who's been the adversary of the night? That is your Satan. That's the demon devil. What does white mean? W-I-G-H-T. Devil. God. Who are whites? Who are the white walkers in Game of Thrones? Beyond the pole, right? Uh-oh. Adversary. One who plots against another. Right. So when they're calling us savages, worshiping devil worshipers in Antarctica, in Antarctica, boss, in 1500s, they're saying these people are working against us they are adversaries of ours there are adversaries boss got it because they're in tarazanta right tarazanta wow say cool what it do 
It's a cow. <laughs> You're in Tara's Island. <coughs> uh, so, you know, out here in Cali, they got uh, like Santa Cruz. Like Santa Cruz is Santa, Santa, holy. Cruz will be like cross, like holy cross, right? Um, Santa Monica. All their saints connect to the Sanct. Sanct is saint. Same thing. Holy, right? What's so holy, man, about Antarctica, boss? What's so holy about Tara Zonta? And look, I ain't going to do no studio tricks. I'm just going to put in Tara Zonta, bang, right? And what do you start receiving immediately? Stuff that's holy. <laughs> you got a Tarzan to church. Custody of the custody of the holy land to give you the hints. All right. Are we talking cons? Uh oh. Uh oh. Tarzan travel center. Tarzan to retreat. Okay. Yeah. Armor of God. Yeah. Something very holy about Tarzan. Yeah. Most of this is going to take you weird to Jerusalem because they're going to consider Jerusalem to be their Tarzata today, right? Come. They're going to take you to Jerusalem, my night, when they talk Tarzata. Tarzata is Latin for what? Holy. Let me get it bigger. Holy ground. I didn't even get to the definitions. I'm just, I just put in Tarzan. So, I, so you don't think I'm doing nothing crazy. So you don't think we connecting overly thinking stuff. People that don't think, think that we overthink. Ain't that something? Ain't that crazy? So. Nazareth, they're going to bring in their JC when they talk Tarzan. Right. Yeah, boss, they're going to take you to Palestine maps. They're going to take you to the Middle East. Round Terra, Tarzanta. This is holy ground. I didn't even put in no definition. If I do say Tarzanta, meaning, right? We get more specific. <laughs> Tarzanta means holy lamb or not. I'm out of here, boss. I'm out of here. So why? Why? Sixty-four billion dollar question is why is it on the map in Antarctica? I mean, wow, right? And why is Phoenicia over here, man? Why is Phoenicia? <laughs> I mean, it's a lot going on. It's a lot of biblical tones being set. <laughs> We're just talking about really a piece that's connected to the American side of things. And this is where they get the gateway. And what do these ships popping up have to do with these waterways and gateways? And what's it got to do with Virg Virgin Land? Man? And Amazon. So we're talking, oh, we talking high Amazon, Queen. Okay, boss. we just talking Tarzan. Tar Santa. Holy land, holy ground. They want to call it hell. It's located. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, of course, of course, right? Of course, they bring in JC, Israel. So we also talking King David, Tar Santa. Can we talk David, Tar Santa? Psalm 89, Hosea 3, Jeremiah 30, Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 35. <laughs> when we talk Kandawi, when we talk Holy Land, they want to talk JC. Israel, can we talk America? Because we're not going to go to the Middle East when we hear Tarzanta, right? No. When we hear Tarzanta, we're going to Antarctica. <laughs> we're going to Amaruka. We're going to Peru or 
Perusalem, right? With P's and J's are silent, huh, boss? I mean, so just think about the navigation that's popping off as we get into this map drop. Um, you know, this uh, navigational ships and stuff. I mean, think about how this water was so important. I mean, the, the Memsons was connecting so much and connects to so much more. We're talking more, right? We're talking Moronia, man. We're talking the the Maranon, which is the real name of the Amazon rivers. It's the Marana. Marana, right? More. We're talking more. <laughs> Maran up the place. 1828. When they say Amazon, and we'll get this next time, <laughs> my copper color con America. Brought here, boss? Nope, no. Nope. I think you were found. I think you were found here, copper con. So much that you're the definition of the con. They say American. Does C A N pronounce Ken? Is it is C A N pronounced Ken? If I told you to spell Ken. Will you spell C A N? Or will you spell like K K I N or something, right? <laughs> Would you spell Ken like Ken folk? C A N ever, ever, boss. Nah, this is Ken. This is Khan, my knock. The Khan is the priest in Hebrew. The copper priest. What's the color of grandma's penny? What's the color of you, my knock? Brought here, boss. Found here, boss. I'm talking Amazon quick. 1828, my love. Female. Queens, man. Queens popping off. And Major Minor, not Asian Major, boss. Yeah, they were married. They had husbands. They were fighting side by side with their husbands. This is Solomon and Sheba flow. Dawi and Bathsheba flow. The Sheba is a title for these priest queens, daughter of the seven, daughter of the seven cities of gold, my naga. And the real name for the Amazon is the Mar Anan, or say it with me, boss. <laughs> Ania, like Anan Ben David, son of David, who wrote the code like Moses' mama needed. Get the drop. Okay, God. Amazon. Ama. Zion, like Zion. Right? Ooh. We never heard it broken down like this before. But you surfing the wave with Drop Nation. <laughs> Ama. Zion. We are talking Queens. Natural by law, take the wheel, man. I, I see you, bro. I see you, God. <laughs> Cooty Mayo, hey, hey, take the wheel, man. Templar, you know, you got it. Ty Bazan, please take the wheel. Ty Bazan. We don't got to look too far for these elements, these clues to start to present themselves and They'll put themselves together when you see clear. When you see clearly. Who's Ama? Who's Ama? We got to go back to Proverbs. <laughs> we got to jump back in Proverbs chapter 8. Ama? Don't be thoughtless, man. <laughs> Ama says, man, hey, hey, Big Daddy uh, created me first, man, before any creation was popping off. Mama was there before anything you can imagine was created. Mama was there. You better give Mama her a hug. They call her wisdom. I call her, we call her Ama. She is the Ama of Zan, my Uh Hebrew chart. Can we get a Hebrew chart? Can we get a Hebrew paleo, a uh, paleo picto Hebrew chart? Drop nation. Can we talk Zion, Drop Nation? 
Can we talk amazing? <laughs> Body. Can we talk Amazon? Hey, are you amazing or are you Amazon? Woo! You can't be amazing without Ama. Amazon. You can't be amazing without Ama. And what is Zah? What is my talk? That talk is a weapon. A weapon you use to cut, my naga. Be careful, Ama. She will cut you, man. <laughs> back, back. She'll slice your ass in half. Mama don't play. You know big mama don't play with them kitchen knives, man. Because mama got the food and mama got the nourishment. If you're Amazon, then you are big mama bringing the food <laughs> to the tribe, bringing the nourishment to the tribe. Whether we're talking the physical food, mental food, spiritual food, mama is cutting through all hijack. Mama is cutting off the hijack. You don't get to the Zan, which is the seventh letter or seventh day of the week or strong. They say weak, we say strong, my noggin. We don't get to the seventh day of the strong without cutting off something. You had to shed all that hijack all strong. You had to choose up all strong. You got to the weekend or the strong beginning. They say weekend. We say strong beginning. You got to the strong beginning. That means you cut off some things. You cut off some stuff out your diet. You cut off some hijack out of your head, out of your thoughts. You cut off some hijack activity that you could have been doing. You cut off some niggas that need to be cut the fuck off. And you also added security. You're not just cutting stuff off. You're adding something. What are you adding? <sighs> wow, you're adding the breath. <laughs> the revelation. Mama got her arms raised, not no man. Mama greets you when you come through the door. And your father, your father. <gasps> wow. Gives you the added security, hooks you in so you are foundational, so that you don't blow away when the storm hits. You are secure. You got roots, my naga. You got vibration. You got security with your father. Your mother gives you the revelation and the breath <sighs> so you can pop off. Because what's security without a breath and what's breath without security? We're talking framer shaper. Ama, Aba. We're talking Amazon. Amazon got that food. Amazon got that nourishment. Amazon will cut you or will cut off the hijack. What do you want? You choose. You want to be cut or you want the hijack to be cut off? You choose to keep the code. You're choosing to cut off the hijack. You're choosing to be out of code. You're choosing to be cut up, man. Because you can't build a wall without cutting out. The hijack so you know what to put inside your wall. Outside. Divide. Half. <laughs> half of that high, Half of that, you know, whatever that is, that's hijack. They gotta go. This half hijack free can come inside. We gotta divide. We build on the wall. We build a joy world. Please support my noggin. Don't stop supporting because we ain't stopping building. Support for the future, support for the droplets, support for all my Nagas making the runs out there, man. To build for Nagaville, we building our wall. What's outside of it? <laughs> Hijack. What's inside of it? <laughs> Hijack free. Static free. No hijacks allowed. Inside of our wall, we have food. We have nourishment. We will cut you <laughs> or we'll just cut you off. You choose, right? You got the Zan. We're talking Amazon. You got, ah, wow. Now you feel amazing. Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Ka, ka. Amazon. Amazon is the Mar. Mar means great. Anna. Now we could be talking about the 
Anon, like the Strait of Anion, the Anon River, Anion, Strait of Anion, right? On the old maps, they just call it the Strait of Anion. Okay. What'd you say, Wikipedia's? <laughs> Strait of Anion. We talking Anion or Anon? Strait of Anon, Anion. Semi mythical? Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're talking mythologies. <laughs> Ping pow. Red flag, right? So, straight of Anon was a semi mythical. What's semi myth about it? Documented from the 1560s back to the 1500s, right? That was believed by modern cartographers to mark the boundary between North America and Asia and to permit access to the Northwest Passage from the Arctic Ocean to the Pacific. The true strait was discovered 1728, later became known as the Barren Strait. So they changed the name of the Barren Strait. Strait of Antioch had been generally placed nearby, but sometimes appeared as far south as California. So you go check out all these maps, 1687, 1610, you got this Anon business popping up on all these maps straight to Antioch. Mythical, mythical, they say. And then we got maps, you know, that talk about the uh, Antioch Regnum, right? And Covera and all this stuff, like this. Great site here, we love digging on. 1500s, 1600s maps. Wow, right? <laughs> Horizontal, wow. Mm hmm. Come on, man. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? You know, I want the uh, dramatized, dramatized version, right? Okay? Here we go. Just show me the map. Show me the map. What we playing? You know, we get hot around here. The Limes Occidentes. Right. Oh, man. Come on. See how they all that black line. No problem. No problem at all. No problem. I got you. No problem at all. No problem. Not a problem at all. Let's just look at a few maps the old fashioned way. Again, we're just talking more or not. Limes, Occidentes, Corvera, remember Kivera is Eber or Hebera or Heberu or Eber, land of Eber. We just talking Ania. What is Ania got to do with the land of Eber or Corvera, right? Ania popping up here. Ania. Regnum means kingdom, so. You got the lost kingdom of Antioch Regnum, the mysterious ancient British Columbia that connected it all through Canada, right? You see how that works? All of this Canada is the land of Antioch. Too real, too true. Let's go. So are we talking about a kingdom connected to cities of gold? Are we talking this Antioch or Antioch? Or as they'll say here with the Amazon, or amazing, mar -ana is still Antioch -ana. And Antioch is very important. Very important. As a river, as a kingdom, as a regnum. You can do this recon yourself. And they change it. In the Bible, they change it to Arnon, A-R-N-O-N. One letter rule, right? Always oh, brother got the trial. 
So whether they talk to Arna, Ania, Arna is very important with the borders with Moab and them and Ammon and them and uh you know Israel. So this Arnon Anion border is very important biblically. It's very important strategically, navigation wise, and as a kingdom, and is the Amazon. This trivial occurrence gave the name Amazon to that river whose real name is Mar Anon. And again, these queens joining their husbands, attacking the high day, they call that trivial. Why? <laughs> this is an entire tribe going out. Queens and kings, Solomon and Sheba against the hijacks that look swarthy Spaniards just like us. But e either way, that occurrence, it's how Amazon got it, got its name. So these queens weren't named after the river. The river is named after these queens. Because they're amazing. They're Ama they're Amazon. They're Amazon. Yeah. Let's go. One more time, man. Tarzanta means holy land. Tarzanta, wow. What's these Amazons doing over here? In Amazonia. Okay. I see this Ania situation. Ania. All right. All right. I'm just checking out. And now that they bring up the Ania flow, I'm just looking at all this. Even like Virginia, right? Virginia is also like Virgin Ania, right? Ania, 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 Ania plays, man. All right. We know Tarzanta plays because we're talking Holy Land, but all right. So let's keep this perspective in mind as we look at this new, at least new to me, map. Also, Ania is Asia. Number one letter rule, switch the N to the S, Ania, Asia. All right, cool. <laughs> the more you know, man, right? So shout to marine traffic.com man. For the last part of this, man, we're gonna surf the wave just looking at this map of the raw sea, right? Shout out to the to the roos, right? The roos are the Ross. You got a whole sea named after you, my knock. A whole ice shelf and what's under that ice shelf, man. Perfectly preserved, pristine land. I mean, come on. Now, check this, man. Check this. Now, I don't have the four or five hundred dollar package that's going to give me all the descriptions of every single boat. But, but, my not. Let me scroll out. You know, I did a little, you know, free trial package so I could at least kind of track some of this right, so um you see this is kind of repeating this projection you see South America here you're going to see South America over there it's going to keep repeating so that's cool so you can see little extra areas and stuff and stuff a lot of these boats you know they're going to say they're you know some have titles if I get closer inland They'll say, all right, this is a cargo vessel. I don't have the global satellite package that costs like 400 something a month. Right, but a lot of this it says, you know, it's going to say this vessel is out of coastal AIS range. So they're not going to give us all the drop on it. But they're going to tell us it's a you know, cargo boat, a tanker, a fishing boat. I'm just looking on random boats. Uh, outside of Africa here. All right, this one we got. We got a hard hit on crude oil takers. So I can't confirm or deny. It says it's going currently. It's going 11.9 knots. All right, it's going to give a, a you know a destination and stuff for some of this stuff. Now that's all cool. That's all cool. Stuff on around Greenland. All right, it's a lot of boats, right? A lot of boats, boats. 
a lot of bones. The kicker is this right here. Let's let's grow. Let's grow. Let's let's get into Tarzant. <laughs> Tarzant of wow. I don't, you know, I've seen different things. <laughs> I never see the same thing twice, you know. Uh, I found a long road that is going to lead us to some drop uh, that we got to really dig into more. You know, they've been saying they've been building these roads to traverse through Antarctica. <sighs> My nah, you, you, these things go thousands of miles. You think they're accounting for the curvature of the planet? <laughs> or are they just building a straight, flat road? through Antarctica. Now here's the weird thing, man. Once you start getting into Antarctica, you you still see boats, man. Like this is saying it's a fishing boat. In the ice boats. In the ice. Another one over here, fishing boat. Now look at these. Look at this. Um, Naga, what are you fishing for in the ice? What are they fishing for, boss? They said this position was received 37 minutes ago. This is a live satellite map footage or, you know, uh, you know, navigational pinpointing, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, man, uh, GPS. 37 minutes was the last hit they got on this boat here. Let's look, let's look at this boat down here. Look at this, man. Look at this, man. Where you going, boss? I see you, boss. Where you going? You in the ice, boss? You going fishing? Yeah, you just going fishing now. Only thing I can think of off the top of my head, boss. Is this map projection right here, love to say, cool. That when we see in these random boats in the ice, can we line them up with the waterways from these 1500 maps of this fully mapped out Antarctica situation? And don't say it's play play because they got Africa, America, Asia, Virginia, California on the same damn map. Don't tell me Moronia is BS and this other Virginia's BS at Frugatoni, Fru, Frugian, Frugiona. They're going to try to link it to some type of, um, you know, fictional story. Nah, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. And you put Tarzanta here in your fictional story, too? Incogna, Inco, Ignota, Itchium, Ed Hook. Come on, man. So. These boats seem to be popping up around Phoenicia to me. Look at this map. And look at these boats. Fishing boats, right? Right. Right. Look at these boats <laughs> in the ice doing what they want to do, right? And where are you at? Where are you going? You, you say they seem to be going back. You see how they're pointing back this way. Whichever way this arrow's pointing is the direction they're currently heading, but the first they came down and did something. Now these fishing boats are coming back up. This is about 30 minutes ago we got the last hard hit. They're coming back up past the Amari, Amari Ice Shelf. Okay, okay. Headed back to the Raw City, my night. Right into the Indian Ocean. <laughs> right into this little yada yada. Now, what are these little little boats doing? Here's a new one probably headed down here. Right into this little, what I think could be a passageway. 
<laughs> it's the only way I can try to connect this thing is that they're hitting these waterways. They doing what they doing. Fishing? I don't think so. Uh, but they're going right into and through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Taurus octopus. Let's just uh, take a scroll around, see if we can find any uh, ice roads or anything else that looks interesting here, man. You know, I got a couple of different you know, map looks to play play with. Dark map protection, simple map protection, standard map protection. I got to get the big package to unlock the nautical maps. I mean, maybe that's where the drop is, huh? Hey, maybe somebody would do that. <laughs> Check it out, man. So, yeah, let's just see what they got around here, man. Uh, all right, I'm just going to have some fun. See, we fine. And you know how they blot stuff out. So when you see like a lot of blockness, you know they're doing something. I mean, it's faint. You know, you just see outlines and stuff. Just like if you were looking at the oceans and, you know what I'm saying, big lakes, you know, Naga cities underwater. Same type of thing. They, they blot out <laughs> all this stuff. See if we can find us a road, catch a road somewhere. I think last time I had a, I think they had another projection available that was made it a little easier to see the roads. But I'll see if I could play with it. This is stuff they definitely don't want us to be <laughs> looking at, I'll tell you that much. You see a lot of blotting out, a lot of things happening that they don't want us to see. Oh, I know you got a rope somewhere. A lot going on here, boss. What's going on here, boss? Mm -hmm. No, y'all see it. You got eyes to see. We see clearly. Just taking a deep dive in Antarctica. <laughs> I better not find no ships out here, I'll tell you that much, because I'm, I'm pretty deep. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, boss. You're just blotting it out, man, because you can't tell me it's nothing. You can't tell me this is nothing. Can't tell me we're just looking at nothing, man. And then I scroll out and it becomes like this. Uh huh. Let's follow this uh, raw shelf, man. Where these boats be going. Yeah, let's follow this, man. This is interesting, man. I'm like, what's really going on? 
<laughs> and then they blot it out. Man, what's really going on? What's really going on, man? Look like fresh water. Look like that water. We got that water. <laughs> All right, let's go deeper, man. Let's go deep. One more deep dive. Yeah, I could do this for hours, man. <laughs> Looking for stuff, man. We're going to get back on them Naga cities underwater. To search out in some lakes and stuff just like this. See what kind of things we can make out, man, with a dragonfly perspective. It's a lot of blotness. <laughs> Come on, boss. Come on, boss. Don't tell me you don't see nothing. <laughs> These patterns just don't form by themselves. It's out here, man. Too much fun, man. We having too much fun. Because the mystery, because they keep it this way. Not for long, man. Not for long, or not. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, man. Not for long, man. Wow. You don't mind me. Uh, I'm just belly, f belly flopping in that Arctic. You know what I mean? It's, you gotta be patient with these belly flops, cause that's when you find stuff, man. <laughs> I 
looking for this road I found. And it actually crisscrossed, and I was able to follow it for a long, long way, man, longer than I had. Patience, you know, keep going, man, because it just went forever. I had to start looking it up. Man, random, random, just random boats, <laughs> fishing boats. Huh? Yeah, I know you're out. I know you're out of range. I know you're way out of range. Random boats popping up. It's an interesting little line right there. Huh? <laughs> oh, they just made it disappear. It's like, <laughs> that's a, you know, interesting formation, man. That's all I gotta say. go told y'all be patient with a naga there we go we found the road y'all we found the road let's go closer <laughs> yes yeah, south pole traverse South Pole Traverse. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't don't get scared now. Yeah, boss. Y'all thought it was play. Y'all thought, thought it was play. Y'all thought it was play, play. South Pole Traverse. Yeah, I got to mark this, man. I got to figure out how to put a marker down or something around right here, man. Man. Y'all, y'all remember this coordinates, man. All right, <laughs> cool. We found it. All right, so scroll out. So you can take this South Pole Traverse. Like, this is a this is a long road, man. Okay, I just need you to think about why they would build a road in the ice this long. Hmm. And what is it pulling up to? I mean, think about think about this. Why you think about this same? Tars is out the wild, right? Like, what is this road cutting through, right? What is this road cutting through? Yeah, look at this, man. 
if I go the other way, you're going to see it start uh, kind of crisscrossing with another road. There's multiple roads that crisscross and intersect deeper into Antarctica. Whoa, here we go with a crisscross. My knock. Just as I said that, we found an intersecting point. Look at this, boss. Uh, they won't let me go no further. Nah, man, come on. I gotta, I gotta get some more. I gotta reach this texture point, man. Come on, boss. Don't stop me here, boss. Don't stop me here. Nah, boss. South Pole Traverse. I need, I need some more. Keep trying to cut me off, man. They're like, ain't nothing to see here, boss. You can't go no further. But y'all see it, right? You see how it's merging into another situation, man. So if I go back down the other way, see how far they allow me to go. See these two roads? You could take either one of the roads, right? Hey, we're just getting some orientation pies, some orientation enchiladas. They start separating even more. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's go back in. Oh, what too far? What too far, boss? <laughs> I know it's around here. It just disappeared on me. Come on, boss. Don't do it. Don't, don't do a brother like this, man. Don't do me so bad. I'm just glad we found it so we know it exists, right? So we know it's a good thing. Even if they try to make it disappear. Hijack City. Ah. It's just a mythical role, y'all. Just disappeared on <laughs> Back, back, back. We found it. We found the road. Ah, so you could take the road, but it looks like some type of dead end. Y'all think this is a real dead end right here? Or you think there's something there that they don't want us to see, boss? Like this blotted out stuff. You got to take this other one over here. Let's follow this joint. Now, this is one long road. We're going to do some recon on our way out when we get this Chef Candy drop, man. <laughs> We're talking Antarctica, boss. This is a long road. Now, I tried to take this before, and it just keeps going, man. It just keeps going. It just keeps going, man. All right. So, uh, you got the links. Maybe you have uh, more patience than me. You can just do this for like an hour and see how long you get. But this road seems to continue, right? It seems to continue, right? I said this road continues, boss. Goodness gracious. This is like going from New York to California, back to New York, back to California, back to New York. This is crazy talk. This is crazy talk. Dang, it's a long road. This is still the South Pole Traverse, my knife. Come on, what are, you, what are they traversing? What are you traversing? Huh? All right, so you see it continues and goes and goes and goes. And goes, man. Right? It cuts this way and it cuts that way and it cuts this angle and it cuts back that angle. And it's still going. It's still going, boss. It's still going, boss. It's still going, boss. It's still going, boss. All right, I ain't got the patience to finish this, but look. <laughs> I'm working on it. It's crazy. And then it cuts back that way. And it's still going. 
Whoa, and then they're going to split the screen to a black screen on a night. And it's still going. What? And it's still going in the black screen. Now, y'all think this is black or is it water? Because we popped out the other side outside the ice wall now. Now we're just in the water. Now we're just in the water. You know why I think this could be water? Because it's water up top. When it's black, it's water. So why ain't this water? Why ain't this water? It could be easily ice. It could easily be ice, bro. All right, this is as far as they're going to let me get. In a South Pole Traverse. So, a couple questions. A couple questions. Traverse, like, what does it mean? Right, Traverse. Pass across, over, or through, right? They say they're passing over the ice, or are they crossing into another plane of existence? Turn across. Cross. How about in 1828? Crosswise, the ridge of the field they traverse crosswise, lying across a path cut with traverse trenches. And something that door crosses or obstructs. Cross, cross, cross. A trench, okay. In navigation, traverse sailing is the mode of computing the place of a ship by reducing several short crosses. So it's like a shortcut through something or some type of path. Hmm. Turn, pivot, swivel. So some type of path that's crossing something or cutting across. All right. Uh, let's talk about this traverse uh, situation because Antarctica Ice Highway. Terrible. 2004, November 29, from CBS News. The first man to drive a vehicle. Okay. Somebody's driving across this thing <laughs> to the South Pole has described a U.S. ice highway project. So back then it was a project for in Antarctica. As terrible because it threatens the pristine environment. Yeah, I think it would as long as road would definitely threaten the environment. Says New Zealanders Sir Edmund Hillary, first man to climb Mount Everest, drove a modified farm tractor from the Antarctic coast to the South Pole in 1957, a journey that lasted 81 days. On Monday, Hillary, 85, blasted the U.S. National Science Foundation's 1,020-mile ice highway, which is being constructed to bolster scientific study. Really bolster. They're just making a 1,000-mile road to bolster scientific study. We just saw this long as road. It's way longer than a thousand miles now. Way longer than a thousand miles. <laughs> wow. I think it's terrible, said Hillary, who was, the who was in the Antarctic to mark the 25th anniversary of Europe's disaster when an air New Zealand jet crash killed all 275 people. Man, rest in power, man. Hillary said the ice road will degrade the pristine environment which is protected from the commercial development, including oil exploration by the 1959 Antarctic Treaty. Here come, here come these treaties, Bob. Research the Antarctic Treaty. You see that this is what they are all using to be confederate against all of us that they want to keep dumb, deaf, and blind, not seeing clearly, not seeing clearly that you have more land beyond the pole. They made a treaty to keep you within a certain boundary, my dog. Oil exploration, what's oil? What's oil? 
<laughs> with oil ball. Wow, okay. Uh, so this ice roll, what they call it? For the dismount. South Pole Traverse, also called South Pole Overland Traverse. It's approximately 995 miles. Again, a thousand miles long. But what we just saw was way longer than that. Flag route over compacted snow and ice in Antarctica. This is a road, my This is a road that just goes and goes and goes.